Hi guys, my name's Andy. Welcome to the Hertfordshire Sports Village Gym. Today we're going to be doing your induction and how to use your five digit pin number and just showing you one strength machine and also one cardiovascular machine. First of all, what you need is your student ID card to access the barrier. You need to swipe it on the turnstile, it will bleep and allow you through. Okay, once you've obtained your five digit pin number from the gym reception, what you need to do is you need to enter on one of our kiosks just here. Tap the screen, enter your five digit pin number. Once you've entered your pin number onto the kiosk, it will display all the buttons on the left hand side just here. What you want to do is press the select workout in the top left hand corner, press that button there. That will load up a generic training program and that will allow you to do whatever you wish in the gym, okay? So on the screen in front of you, at the top, it will explain, show you the cardiovascular equipment from the cross trainers, the treadmills, the rowers, etc. And then down the bottom, we have all of the resistance machines, which all the compound machines work in different muscle groups. What you want to do is press the flashing start workout in the bottom left-hand corner, press that button, press OK on the gray screen, and that will load up that generic training program. Press OK once more and you're ready to go. So the machine I'm going to be inducting you on today is the treadmill. Okay. First of all, you need your five digit pin number. Once you've entered it in the kiosk provided, you need to come over, jump on the machine and enter your pin number with the buttons provided on here. So Rianne, if you want to enter your five digit pin number. Once you've entered your pin number, it will display on the white box on the user ID. What you want to do then is press the small enter button in the bottom right hand corner. That will submit the ID, accept the ID and the white screen appears. Okay. So once you've selected everything and you're happy to go, we're going to press the green go button provided. So press that button. Excellent. Three, two, one. Belt starts. Okay. So the screen has changed again. On the screen, we do have the time ticking down, the calories, the pace, your kilometers, and also your heart rate. So whenever you want to stop, you've got the red circle stop button on the front just there. Tap that. The belt will come to a complete halt and it will collate everything you've just done. Okay, so it will tell you the time, the distance, and the calories, and that's all saved to your unique five digit pin number through the fit links. Okay, if you press the home button, the top left hand corner, that will just divert to the login ID screen, and there you go. We have the iPod feature at the top as well, so if you press the tab for iPod, plug in the iPod with the device provided. So, the iPod's been connected, it will play all of your playlists that you've stored on your iPhone, even your movies as well, so you can watch your films. Okay, so on here, it's gonna pop up with audio or visual. What we'll do is we'll just go into the audio. You can choose from your albums, your artists, etc. Just make sure your, your iPod headphones or your headphones that you've brought in are plugged into the headphone jack provided. Okay. Okay, Rian, we'll move over to the seated row. This machine's gonna be working your back muscles. What we want to do is just to sort out all the adjustments, make sure you're comfortable and it's safe for use, okay? What we need to do first is we need to actually take the seat down. So if you wanna just come off the seat, that's perfect. And then down here, there is an orange lever. If you want to lift that up with your fingers, like so, and then we can adjust the seat if need be. Now, before we actually do the exercise, what we want to do is we want to log on to the terminal. So if you want to enter your pin number on there for me, Excellent. The very first time you enter your pin number on the machine, you're going to have to set the range of motion. It's just to calibrate it. Once you've done it once, you won't have to do it again. Okay? So the grey box will appear like so. And what it's telling you to do is to lift the weight to the top of your range. Okay? So what I want you to do then is grab hold of these top handles. That's perfect. With your feet, just put your feet up on the pads just there. That's brilliant. Okay. Now I want you to pull all the way back into that position. That's good. Excellent. Hold it there. The machine will bleep to recognize that. Now what I want you to do is just slowly return it back down. Excellent, just before the weight touches, hold it there. The machine bleeps again to recognize that. Now what I want you to do is just to relax the handles back down. Brilliant, excellent. Okay, on the screen, that's all saved. If you want to press the done button on there, excellent. Now what it will ask you is the chest number, which is the number directly here. So that's number three. So we'll press the positive three times and the seat number, which is just below, and that is number five. Okay, we'll press the done button. That's all calibrated, ready to go. Well done, excellent. 
Once you've finished your workout in the gym, what you want to do is you want to come back over to one of the kiosks, okay, and enter your five digit PIN number provided on the system. So, when you've entered your PIN number, the buttons will be displayed on the left hand side again, and we've got the orange finish workout button. Once you press that button, it will collate everything you've done in the gym from the calories you've burnt, the distance you've covered, the weight you've lifted as well. Press the OK button on there, and then the exit in the bottom left hand corner, and that will log you out completely. The exit in the gym is just provided just behind the terminal. You don't need your student ID card to exit, okay? Thank you. Okay guys, so we've finished the induction. Um, what I'm gonna do is just go through a couple of the machines that we have in the gym here. Uh, we do have a cardiovascular equipment ranging from treadmills to cross trainers, bikes, rowing machines. Um, we also have spinning bikes on the gym floor. We've got the body core vibration training platform. Uh, in terms of resistance, we've got a variety of compound machines all working different muscle groups. And um, we've got cable machines and all the free weights are behind the orange wall behind me. To go through some of the rules in the gym, the first one is mobile phones. Um, if you bring in your phone in the gym and if you do uh, make a call or if your phone does go off, please make sure that you take your phones outside, okay? It's just courtesy of, of, of other gym members. Okay, um, make sure that you do bring in a sweat towel and a water bottle um, because we don't provide any cups down here. We've got free water coolers, so make sure you keep well hydrated. In terms of clothing, there is no jeans and flip-flops. Uh, make sure that you are wearing the appropriate fitness gear, trainers, shorts, t-shirt etc. All students using the free weight area please make sure that you keep the area tidy uh, and strip the bars of all weight plates and put them back where they belong. Okay the gym is manned at all times by uh, the health and fitness coaches down here. If at all you get stuck on any bit of machinery or you're not sure what to do um, then just pop over we'll be more than happy to help you. For students make sure that uh, for the off-peak students that you bring in your membership cards okay and you need to be in before four o'clock um, when you swipe your card through the barrier uh, the health and fitness coach will take your card and put it in the blue box provided behind reception. Okay, at five o'clock, uh, we'll pass you your card back and then you can leave. Okay, guys, now the induction's over. We look forward to seeing you down here very soon uh, and seeing you in person. Thank you.